Today is March 25th. It's the Feast of the Annunciation of the Lord. It's also Maryland Day. We're celebrating a Mass here at the 10 o'clock hour in the church. Missing uh, the congregation and all the, the, the usual people that can come to Mass. So here we look at Isaiah 7 in the readings for this day. And Ahaz, he's not demanding a sign from God. In Isaiah 7, he's uh, letting God bring the answer. And the answer is uh, Emmanuel, God with us. That is the answer that, that is given. If you read Isaiah 7, it's also the prophecy of, of God sending his only son into the world. Emmanuel, truly God with us, even in the flesh, child of Mary. And the reading is put on this day because today is the Feast of the Annunciation. And the gospel was, was the Annunciation Gospel in Luke of Mary. And Mary is visited by the angel, and uh, God says, uh, you know, through the angel, behold, you have found favor, and the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and now uh, a child will be born who is holy, the Son of God. Uh, this is a whole new thing for Mary to have to go through this. She's a teenage girl, but this is pretty frightening for a teenager. It says that she was afraid. Uh, you would be afraid too with a, a mighty angel coming before you and then a mission uh, a mission is going to take a lot of courage and and, and a lot of a conviction but uh, she says yes well I will go through it with you God you know I am your servant so she's saying that on, not on my strength but I I will serve what you want to bring through me and so this is something that we say during this uh, this time with the virus and struggling through our isolation times and, and hoping that, uh, that we all can stay healthy and that uh, breakthroughs can come with this uh, getting stopped or controlled. Uh, we, we say, behold, Lord, um, I'm, I'm serving you and I'm going through this with you, God, and uh, be done to me according to thy word. So here I am, Lord. I am. Uh, I'm here to serve you. Now, I think with uh, with Mary and with the reading with uh, Ahaz and Isaiah, they're basically saying, I'm not taking control. Uh, you're in control, Lord. And so uh, I'm putting myself in your trust, in your care. Today is also Maryland Day, and I think uh, what could have been a frightening thing was the people who were leaving England, crossing the Atlantic Ocean, and two ships, they both get separated. They're coming to a new world where they may not be accepted. It's a, it, it's a different kind of a colony they want to start, Catholic. So they're not really welcome down in Virginia where the other colony has already started um, just a decade or two before. Uh, they end up coming up these charted waters of the Potomac that uh, Captain John Smith had explored and there had been some relationships with the, with the Native Americans here, but they uh, they still are, are coming into uncharted uh, territory and, and adventures that they have no idea what's ahead. Uh, the Catholic faith uh, starts on March 25th, 1634, here in Maryland. Uh, and Father Andrew White and another priest uh, celebrate Mass on what is today called St. Clement's Island. And they begin uh, a, a life here in Maryland of a colony that continues to today with 250, 300 parishes now in Maryland. But back then there was just one. And they, they had so much to struggle with when they started this colony. So we think on today, when we think of our own struggles, we think of others who have been through struggles too. And we turn to our God and, and as they began uh, the whole adventure of this colony of Maryland, they began it with a mass. And it happened to be Annunciation Day, the day when the Lord broke through into our world to answer our cries.